Yo, we are doing characteristics of graphs today. So again, like I always say, you want notes. You want to be paying attention, taking those notes. And we're going to get into it. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Okay, so a parabola is the graph of a second degree polynomial function known as a quadratic. So, and they make these like U-shaped curves. So that's like the formal definition, right? So it could either look like happy face or it could look like a frowny face. Uh, when we're doing parabolas, you always wanna pay attention to your domain and your range, okay? So the domain of a parabola is always, always, always going to be all real numbers, no matter what, okay? Um, and just for the sake of doing examples, if we were given this specific graph, you would say that the range is y is greater than or equal to zero because the bottom of that parabola hits at zero. And then it's gonna be, the domain is gonna be all real numbers, of course, for the second one. Uh, but the range is actually going to be y is less than or equal to 3.5 because the top of that parabola is right around is in the middle of three and four so that's about 3.5 so and because it's going down you say less than or equal to so that's domain and range so you always want to know what your x values how wide the graph is and then how tall the graph is for your range some more characteristics, so the vertex of a parabola is the maximum or the minimum. So it's either the high point or the low point. So we're gonna label each vertex. So for this one, this has a low point. So when it's a happy face, it has a low point. And this low point happens to be at three. And it's sitting on the x-axis, so my vertex is going to be three comma zero. Okay, and it happens to be a minimum because it's a low point. Anytime it's a low point, it's also a minimum. So now we have this problem, which is a frowny face, but it has a high point, okay? And that high point is right there. And we're gonna say that that's negative one comma 3.5 because you're over the negative one and you're up to the, all the way up to the 3.5, okay? So this one is a maximum. Why is this one a maximum? Because it's a high point. Okay, the last one was a minimum. This one, in this case, is a maximum. So now let's talk about the axis of symmetry. So we've already talked about domain and range. We've talked about vertex, minimums, and maximums. Now we're gonna talk about the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is an imaginary line that goes through the vertex of a parabola. Okay, so the vertex is right in the middle. It cuts the parabola in half, making it symmetrical, like your beautiful face. It's symmetrical, parabolas are symmetrical, and the equation of an axis of symmetry is always x equals whatever number it's sitting at on the x-axis. I cannot say that enough, okay? So in this case, because that vertex is sitting at three, I'm gonna label my imaginary axis of symmetry, and it goes through three, so I say that the equation is x equals three if it was go going through negative two i would say the the equation is x equals negative two is whatever it's going through and notice that first number the negative three matches the first number in the vertex so again same thing but different picture this time so we're looking at our axis of symmetry it's going through the negative one so i'm going to label it as x equals negative one okay always x equals a number don't just put the number put the equation of the line it's a vertical line you learn this you should learn this uh, when you're doing linear equations right vertical lines are always x equals a number okay the next thing so we've learned about domain and range we've learned about vertex minimums and maximums we've learned about axis of symmetry now we're gonna learn about zeros so zeros are where the graph touches the x-axis. So the zeros of a parabola are the x-intercepts. The points on where each graph touches the x-axis. These are also called solutions. You can also call these solutions of quadratics. All of these words mean the same thing. Zeros, x-intercepts, solutions. Um, they're just asking to find out where does this 
graph touch the x-axis and in this case it touches it one time at three so three comma zero so my zero which I'm going to label you should be labeling um, is three comma zero it is an x-intercept it is a solution so in this case I have two zeros or two x-intercepts or two solutions because remember all of those mean the same thing both of those negative 4 and positive 2 would be zeros of the solution so negative 4 comma 0 and then 2 comma 0 the last characteristic that we're going to learn about are y-intercepts y-intercepts are where the graph touches the y-axis so we've learned about domain and range we've learned about vertex, uh, maximums and minimums. We've learned about uh, axis of symmetry. We've learned about zeros, solutions, x-intercepts. Those are all the same thing. So now last but not least is the y-intercepts where the graph touches the y-axis. So we have one that's at three. So obviously I'm gonna say that's zero comma three. And then I have one that's at five and we're gonna, this is my other y-intercept for the other one and that's gonna be at zero comma five. Those are all the characteristics of a quadratic that you need to know, an introduction to labeling parts of graphs and all of that wonderful jazz. And that's this lesson on parabolas and characteristics. You should go back, see if you can figure out stuff.